Welcome all, Papa G here. Today I present my version of Shepherd's Pie. Low carb, of course. Now the original version is made with lamb, carrots, and peas with a nice topping of mashed potatoes. Obviously we can't use all of those ingredients and keep it low carb, so we're gonna change it up a bit. Let's get started. We'll begin with a clean head of cauliflower. This will serve as our potato replacement. Roughly cut the cauliflower, removing the woody middle. On a large sheet of aluminum foil, place our chopped cauliflower and add four cloves of peeled garlic. Sprinkle with a little salt and some ground black pepper. Wrap and seal tightly. Place in the middle of a preheated 350 degree oven and let roast for one hour. To a large skillet on medium high heat, add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. As I said in the opening, we're going to substitute a few ingredients. Here we're going to use ground beef instead of lamb. I just find beef to be a little more palatable for most folks. Add some salt and a little black pepper. Now add a quarter cup of diced onions. Continue to cook until the beef is fully browned and the onions have turned translucent. Add a quarter cup of diced carrots and a quarter cup of shelled edamame. We're using frozen edamame I found in the frozen section of my grocery store. This will give us the same color and texture as green peas but with a lot less carbs. Stir and cook for about two to four minutes. When our vegetables have softened a bit, add some garlic powder, a little cayenne pepper, some tarragon, rosemary, and instead of flour to thicken, we'll use about a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Give that a stir to mix in our spices. Now for our gravy elements, add one cup of beef broth, and a little heavy cream. Mix and cook until it thickens and comes together. This should take about two to five minutes. Turn off the heat and set aside. Remove the cauliflower from the oven and carefully open the foil. The steam is hot so be very careful. Place the cauliflower in a large mixing bowl and with a potato masher Mash until all the cauliflower and garlic is broken up. Add some extra virgin olive oil, some heavy cream, and a third of a cup of cheese. Add two tablespoons of dried chives and mix thoroughly mashing as you mix. Give a taste for salt and pepper. I found mine need a little, little of both. Once you have the taste and texture you want, set aside and we'll construct our dish. Using an 8 by 11 inch baking dish, pour in our meat mixture and spread evenly. Gently dollop our mashed cauliflower over the top. I like to do this in sections to help make spreading it across the top a bit easier. We want to be careful not to mix it in with the meat. Place in the middle of a preheated 375 degree oven and let bake for 25 minutes or until the top begins to brown. When it's done, remove and let cool for at least 20 minutes. Serve warm and enjoy. There you have it folks, my low carb shepherd's pie, another comfort food option to add to your low carb menu. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing. I'll have something new every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.